Hey guys, welcome back to Snake Limited. I am John and today we are doing an unboxing. Not ball pythons, we're actually adding five new pets today to our collection, which I'm really excited about. Um, I made a post a few weeks back about kind of just trying to make sure that you remember that this is supposed to be fun and it's not just supposed to be a business if you're getting into it uh, for the purposes of being a business. So I've been trying to slowly um, acquire some snakes that I have been interested in for a long time, but um, you know, I was so focused on ball pythons that um, I really didn't have the funds even or the time uh, to really acquire them. So today we are, I have actually four new snakes, four new species for the snake room in one addition to a project that I just started um, a few weeks back, um, but she's a, a big <laughs> uh, acquisition. So uh, let's start unboxing these guys one by one. So I actually got four of these snakes from Brad's World Reptiles. Uh, awesome guy, really great, easy to deal with. Um, he actually had a lot of the snakes that I was looking that I've been looking to add to my collection for a long time. Um, so that's who I went with. Um, so we have, let's see in here. Let's start off with maybe probably the most I would I guess I would say most unique to this collection here. These are really small. They're, so they're not big snakes. Um, all of these guys are hatchlings or close to hatchling size. Very teeny tiny snakes at this point. Two of them are colubrids. Um, and two of them are boas, actually, so that's kind of neat. <laughs> we got two colubrids and two boas from uh, from Brad. So this first one is actually a teeny tiny little Kenyan sand boa. I always thought these guys were cool. Um, it's just a like a normal, he said it's a paradox. I don't know if I see where the paradox is. Um, these guys are just cool. I mean, they're kind of cool little, you don't get to see them. I think it's gonna be neat to show uh, to the kids uh, when they come over, all the nephews and anybody else. Um, this teeny tiny little snake that kind of lives underground and you kind of have to dig up. Um, but this guy's really pretty. Um, you don't really see them a whole lot. You know, they're around, but um, I really love the colors on this, and I'm really excited to see this guy grow up. They're so tiny. It's For me, it's kind of weird to have a boa or a python this tiny in my hands. And You know, baby ball pythons come out a lot bigger than this. Um, but, yeah, this is uh, unboxing number one. All right, so number two is another one I've been looking for for a while as well. Um, I finally decided to kind of pull the trigger. Um, I love black snakes. Um, <clears throat> my dream would be to get an indigo snake at some point um, or an IMG boa, but I settled for the time being. And I also have my rat snake and it's getting more and more black as we go. Um, but Brad had this little, uh, let's see if I can get him out here. Oh, trying to run away this Mexican black king snake. This thing is pretty much already black. There's really no pattern in it, which is awesome. I and mean, it's pretty much jet black, you know, as <laughs> already at this size, which is kind of just awesome. Um, beautiful little snakes, you know, they don't get huge. Probably end up keeping them in a uh, four by two for their entire life. Um, you know, once they get to that size, I'm probably just gonna stick it in the rack for now because, uh, you know, space is limited. And I really, about those four by twos that I bought from Reptile Basics are all meant um, to be for these guys as they grow up. And I don't want to, you know, get it in there now and have any issues with it, uh, you know, having too much space or trying to get out of one of the small holes. Um, but awesome, jet black, beautiful little snake. Um, I can't wait to watch this guy grow up. All right, number three, I don't know if you can see the color through the container, um, but these things, I just think, as they grow up, just look astounding. Um, and I've been looking at getting one of these for quite a bit of time. Um, I also want a gray banded king snake at some point, but I haven't found the right pattern. Um, but this is a hypo 
Tangerine Honduran Milk Snake. And wait until I get this out of here and you see it. It's just super, super awesome. It's about the same size as the King Snake. Come here. I don't want to lose you. If you guys um, kind of aren't familiar with colubrids, you know, garter snakes, rat snakes, milk snakes, king snakes, uh, this is typically what they're like. Um, they're not usually <laughs> very slow, especially when they're smaller like this. Um, corn snakes. So if you're not used to snakes, sometimes a python or a bow is actually a better choice because you're not running into this. <laughs> you don't have the snake running on you all the time. Um, they're a lot less flighty, especially the heavier bodied snakes like the ball pythons or blood pythons. Um, blood pythons get huge, so I don't know if I recommend it as a first snake. But ball pythons are nice because they are pretty slow and they don't move a whole lot. Um, sometimes a flighty snake like this can uh, be scary for a new snake owner. Um, but, you know, these guys are, they're usually either trying to run away or they're trying to musk you. A lot of the colubrids, uh, garter snakes, specifically my garter snakes and my ca cave dwelling rat snakes, uh, just love to musk everywhere. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's pretty disgusting and it, it you don't get it off your hands. <laughs> um, but this guy uh, about, will get close to the same size as that Mexican black king snake, you know, four feet ish. Um, you know, hopefully it keeps these really, really cool orange and black tones. Kind of looks like a Halloween snake. Um, you know, I don't have names for these yet, so maybe somebody could, you know, comment down below of what they think would be some good names. Um, obviously with this snake, some, something Halloween related, something orange related would be kind of cool, obviously because of how, um, how kind of bright orange and kind of just awesome this snake is um but yeah i've been looking at these for a while it's a very very awesome looking bright colored snake which i think would be really cool to watch grow up and kind of uh you know again show to the kids and nephews and uh you know my daughter's friends when they come over the last one i got here is another boa um as you can see it's in a bag not in a deli cup so it probably shows you it's a little bigger maybe wouldn't be too comfy in a deli cup I have been also looking for one of these for a while. Um, I didn't realize how inexpensive they were, or else I probably would have purchased one sooner. Um, let's see. As you know, I have my huge, uh, uh, true red-tailed boa, my BCC Scarlet. Uh, she's huge now. I've had her for a couple years, and she's just grown and grown and grown. An awesome snake. Um, but for as awesome as she is and how, uh, I guess, friendly she is, I hear a lot of people talking about this uh, breed of boa as being even kind of a better pet. They don't get as big as the BCCs, um, but apparently their uh, temperament is maybe even better than them. Um, they're also, again, not, they don't get as big, so this might be maybe a better pet for people at home that aren't, you know, don't want something that can get up to 10 feet long. And that is a awesome looking snake. Let's see. Let's get her out. Let's unveil it. Another boa. Second boa for this day. This is a Doomerals boa. They are really cool. Um, I love the pattern on it. This is a, kind of like an orangey pink color almost. Um, as you can see, it's a decent size already. Um, these i believe these get around six feet or so um so obviously again not as big as a bcc but nonetheless an impressive snake uh they get still get pretty big uh, you know a lot i would say will probably look a lot more sizely than a um an adult ball python would but they come a lot cheaper than some ball pythons do too um you know this was i think three four hundred bucks maybe for this snake um and they get pretty big so you know, I'm really excited about this. I've been wanting these for a long time, ever since really I started getting into uh, kind of looking into the boas and the bigger snakes as pets. Um, you know, I believe my rainbow boas right now are, uh, she's gravid, but these guys are just a little different. That rainbow boas are real slender. They almost kind of look like a colubrid in size. 
um, you know, in their actual body weight. These guys will be a lot bigger than that, um, a lot more impressive, uh, kind of like a boa constrictor would be. Um, so, you know, very, very excited about this. Um, you know, hopefully these guys prove out to be just as docile and neat as, uh, as I've seen all over the place on the internet. And my last pickup for the day is actually from Trace Harden at Harden Herpetologica. Um, he has some really awesome snakes. And this one was a little older than the other ones, which is why I, I picked this up. I've been, um, I'll, I'll kind of let the cat out of the bag. I, I purchased a few blood pythons a couple of weeks back and I got a male and a female. And I wanted to get one that was a little bigger so that it was a little more well started off. I also wanted a, like a plain Jane regular blood python that wasn't a specific morph. And he had one here that was, I think, a, a 2001. So it's, you know, somewhere in the range of one and a half to <clears> two. <throat> Two years old depending on when it was born let's see so it's not huge but it's well started you know it'll pr this judging by the size of it will start eating um i would say i don't know maybe small small rats hopefully it's not too grumpy from the from the ride let's see here a little, a little messy moss off of there all right so this is a vanilla <laughs> or a plain blood pipe this is what a blood python looks like just a regular old blood python now she's a girl um, as you can see she's got some decent size on her I'll back up here a little bit so you can see her whole body there um, but regular blood pythons are pretty impressive and if you've seen a full-grown blood python they are ginormous um but this girl is just fantastic looking the oranges and the reds in her are really pretty um i even love the head on there the head's like kind of like a almost like a little dirty copper look to her um now these blood pythons get pretty dang large um you know they're not much longer if not the same length as what a blood as a uh, ball python would be at adulthood but these can weigh up to 20 pounds. So, I mean, they're huge, big, big old fat snakes for being, you know, only five, maybe six feet in that range when they, uh, you know, become adults. They're just very large bodied. Now, the kind of downside of that is that with blood pythons, they're ground dwellers. They do not climb. They're not semi-arboreal, you know, whereas a ball python, even if they're really more terrestrial, your ball python will still climb it'll still kind of hang on to you a little bit these guys require your <laughs> full support when you're handling them it's very awkward for them to be going kind of vertically they're used to kind of just being on the ground um so you really need to use two hands when you're supporting them which can be a little uh difficult or cumbersome <laughs> at times uh, especially when they're trying to move around um but they're beautiful snakes they get huge i think uh, you know, they have a, a bad reputation for being having an attitude. I think it was probably when they were more wild caught um, than what the captive bred ones have been recently. Actually, this so this is the third one I've had here, and they've all been pretty tame so far. I haven't really seen any attitude out of any of them. I've had the other two for a few weeks now. Um, but I'm really happy about this. I'm glad I decided to get something that was a little larger. You know, she's not huge. She's I would say this size, she's probably, you know, in the year and a half range at the most um but you know she'll get very very large i'm very looking forward to you know growing her up and hopefully uh her and the male i have are you know kind of close to adulthood at the same time and i should be producing um some blood pythons here in the shoe in a few short years all right now i don't really have names picked out for any of the first four snakes i think the blood python's name is going to be Mary. Um, you know, if you know any folklore or horror stories, Bloody Mary. Um, she's a blood python, so Mary I thought was a good name for her. But the other four, I uh, don't have any names picked out yet. 
Um, so we have the sand boa, the Kenyan sand boa, the Mexican black king snake, the uh, Honduran hypotangerine milk snake, and the doom rolls boa. Um, comment down below. Let me know, guy. Let me know what you guys think their names should be, and maybe I will pick something uh, that you guys suggest. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.